Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial of how to remove the wrap from your cheap car. In my particular case I've got a six door limo so that's going to make my job a little bit complicated and considering the history of the car I might find a bad surprise under the wrap. So we're going to need three main things. One is a extension lead as long as you can find and the other one is a good heat gun and of course the next one is good fingernails i'm gonna show you what you're gonna need them for so let's get started first of all i'm gonna start with the window stickers over here they should be relatively easy to come on so the only thing i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna pour some water over here and what i'm gonna use is this blade over here simply because the glass of the limo is on a level 6 of the most scale of hardness and the razor blade is on the level 5 so there is no way you're gonna scratch the glass with the razor blade so be brave don't waste your time and just start it like that you can see how easy it is to come off guys of course be extremely careful not to cut your fingers and of course it depends what kind of glue have they used for those stickers but to be honest with you this is the easiest way you can see how easy it is to remove guys and of course there's going to be some glue residue over here which again with the knife later on you can pour some more water and take care of so now let's get all of it out Okay guys, so the whole process took less than 5 minutes and of course I'm gonna have to pour down a little bit more water over here and work my way taking out the glue like that. So let's say it's gonna take me another 2 minutes to take out the glue, so 5-7 minutes per window. I've got 3 of those stickers, but now let's proceed to the main wrapping. Now for the main wrapping is going to be a little bit more complicated. The first thing you need is to find a spot where to start. That's why you're going to need these fingernails over here guys. So let's just try with a piece like that and see if you can do that in one piece as a one whole piece. But yeah just work your way like that and we don't have any edges over here so that's going to be relatively good to go. If you see that you're struggling a little bit use the heat gun. Let me show you how it's done. Okay guys, so this quarter panel is being a little bit tough now, so I'm just gonna put the heat gun on one, um, just heat up like that a little bit. And as soon as you can start smelling the uh, glue melting, then it's time to take the wrap off, just like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna use it over here. Yeah, probably not the best idea to use only one hand, but uh, yeah, just a little bit of heat like that. I'm gonna have to cut this piece over here, guys. I'm just gonna use my knife like that. Yeah. And now a little bit more heat gun over here. Yeah, I think that's it. And just peel it off like that. Oh, man, I'm lucky because this paint is bulletproof on this old Jaguar. So if you had a new car, you would have been very much more careful than, the, than I am now. Uh, first of all, that's, that's what you don't want to do. Because you leave glue residue over here. You want to make it nice and lean like that, guys. Just like so. And again, be extremely careful on the edges over here. Nice and easy. Okay. So far so good to be honest with you. Check this out. This is almost brilliant. There's some glue residue over here. But this mark was built in the car by the way. I'm seriously surprised it didn't come off. But let's continue over here on this panel. Now you gotta be very careful when taking the wrap, especially on the seals over here because my particular car is 23 years old so I'm really not sure what's the condition underneath the wrap, especially on the seals over here, if it's corroded you're gonna have a problem. So when you peel it off over here, 
check this out all the corrosion over here is exposed and this is not good news for you so continue to work your way like that just a little bit and be very careful not to take a part of the corrosion over here you can see what's going on so if you see that you're reaching some point where it needs a little bit more pressure and the paint is starting to come off like that you just gotta use a little bit of the heat gun let me show you how it's done you're just gonna use the first setting over here guys heat this part up a little bit just a little bit and you can see after a few seconds to start sensing the smell of the wrap melting so you just continue like that to work your way through and be very careful pull towards the ground like that and be very careful again uh, if you have two people to do this job that's gonna be better but in my case I'm alone uh, well almost but uh, yeah I'm the only one on camera today so you can see that my paint is starting to come off over here with the wrap that's not good news but what can I do I gotta take the wrap off And now let's move to the next sticker over here and to be honest with you i'm really really afraid of this one over here guys okay and in my case as you can see there's a huge dent over here that the sticker was covering but surprise surprise over here i came into trouble as you can see guys the situation gets pretty bad over here so i'm gonna have to use the heat gun once again because my whole paint is coming off over here which is definitely not a good sign but yeah I'm just gonna use it a little bit like that and uh, try to start from the bottom here and yeah that's definitely better that is definitely better I should have used the heat gun a little bit earlier because as you can see the extent of the damage over here is really not nice and the whole thing starts to come off so yeah let's start from the bottom like that okay and yeah you can see that that's pretty bad over here guys unfortunately yep that's what we have but this this piece didn't come off with that piece to be honest with you check this out this piece was like that previously because it was hit somewhere over here in the middle and pretty much that's it on this side let's proceed with the whole car okay guys and although i was extremely careful with that trim over here check this out i've used the heat gun as well and unfortunately the paint is coming off over here so i guess that trim is going to be have to be repainted as well because everything is coming off over here as you can see okay guys so i'm gonna do this quarter panel myself and i'm gonna use that again oh man this quarter panel is finally done and pretty much half of the car is done there are some marks over here but they're just glue marks they're gonna come out but let me show you what i'm talking about half of the car is all oh no oh, one small piece over there but half of the car is already done guys and so far the biggest damage took that side trim over here this is pretty bad but there's nothing i can do and uh yeah wish me luck okay guys after four total hours of work for two people this is the final product it looks very much cleaner than it used to be with the wrap and um unfortunately you can see that well considering the amount of people who's been on top of this bonnet it's not too bad it's a little bit bumpy as you can see there's a bump over here bump over there bump over there there are quite a few bumps a few more bumps over here but it's not too bad overall now uh the only panel which basically i was taking um the wrap off by myself i managed to damage this golden trim over here without my true assistant and check this out the damage is not that bad to be honest with you the seals were already corroded over here so i knew pretty well about that and most of the damage took this trim over here it chipped a little bit and this trim over here is completely paintless check this out guys i can imagine that because that was the only trim which took that damage that was repainted at some point and you can see that it's just chipping off easily like that but apart from that this was where the oxford sticker was i need a little bit of more work with the razor and some water to take it out 
over here is nice and clean as well i didn't take the wrap off from the back bumper because i'm going to be replacing this bumper anyways you can definitely tell that the car took some damage that's why this tail light is different than the other one and over here as well you can see some bent and the paint came off and this bumper is just no good guys that's why i didn't bother to change these stickers and um what else check this out on this side i mean it was already that bad and my only advice to you would be use just a little bit more heat but not enough to melt the paint now at one what degree your paint is gonna melt there's no way for me to know but check this out i didn't use enough heat over here and see what happened guys but i can imagine that's due to the rust and this and that if you got a newer car it's not going to be that bad but apart from that the paint work as you can see is nice and shiny i haven't really washed it so yeah that's pretty much it guys we did it on the cheap the extension was like 20 quid and uh, another 20 quid for the heater so in total 40 quid two people four hours of work and you're taking the wrap off out of your car i was quoted by an independent garage which they said 120 quid only for the window stickers and they thought that this white uh, stickers on the bonnet and on the trunk was just stickers so they thought for like five stickers 120 quid so that's not a good idea you can do it yourself but you gotta be very careful especially on the edges guys and use just a little bit more heat but not enough to melt the paint which basically depends on your own car as well so be very careful try on a panel that you know is damaged or uh, you, you're ready to sacrifice and then see for yourself it's a relatively hard work my back hurts <laughs> already but uh, at least i'm glad that i do, did it myself and from now on i'm gonna have to repair the seals and after that i'm gonna have to get in touch with somebody to rear up the car most probably with my channel art or i'm just gonna leave it like that i'll see where i'm gonna take it from there i probably will replace the bonnet as well i want the jaguar leaper at the front if you know what i mean so yeah stay tuned for plenty more videos thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one